Right, we'll 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 just go cast and see what happens. Right, so both of them playing as Aztecs. I don't think there are civ limitations. But let's see. Um, oh, I want to turn up the grid and stuff when I cast. Yo is playing in the blue, Bacti is playing orange. You can already see they're right next to each other. So, only fan will go for a Drush. Though I expect both to play fast Man at Arms, and then play aggressive from there on. This map is actually very fun to play. So, uh, there's so much uh, shit happening early on. Doing a Barracks, it seems like Fuel Age, though, yeah, both of them are going to Fuel Age. Super fast lightning speed. Uh, they are actually currently 19 minutes into the game. Uh, yeah, Bakhti dropping up. I don't like that ca tower from Bakhti because it's too far back that he can't secure this wood. Should have been here. So he could have maybe secured it. Are they taking stone? I don't see their men at arms anywhere. Okay, they're just running here. No one is taking. Oh, yeah, I was trying to take stone. Bakhti has made skirms though, so it's looking good for Bakhti. He's always going for villager uh, economy. Switching to skirms now though. He always just trying to go with towers and then probably fast castle behind it, but he has to adapt and go with skirms as well because that's what Black T did. And now we are finally caught up. Seems like they only have a 1 minute 30 spec delay, so that's good. Black T has a very nice wood on here, safe and secure. While Yo, Yo's wood is more exposed. This might be tricky for Yo to. Once this wood runs out, he will have to go here, and that's very bad for surface area. Miss Yo kill his boar with his town center. Oh, well, sorry, I was casting at like ten times the speed, so apologies. Uh, when will your team play World Low Kingdom tournament? I don't know. The VNS apparently could not play today, so we have to reschedule. Uh, uh, um. Oh wait, do I have a scoreboard I can use for this? Um. Let me see if I do this, then I do. This, and I do this, then I do this. Hang on, guys, I'm just trying to fix the scoreboard. I know the game is running again. How does that look? Okay, well, that's the start. I'll add the numbers later so we don't miss since the game is running well again. Turn down scroll speed. To the next six months of masterpieces, Daddy. Hey man, hey man, TB Dan, thank you so much for a half year. I took a sip of coffee for the next six months. Cheers, mate. Yeah, like I said, this might be an issue for Yo in the long run because Bakhti has military advantage. He has a safer wood. Much, I mean, he can transition here and here as well. So Bakhti has great woods here. He's doing a good job placing outposts as well, so he can um, cover every area of the game of the map, while well, he is the one being aggressive as well, so he always just reacting at this point. Let's, let me check um, Bacti's economies, eh, both are fairly similar. Bacti is starting stonewalling though, I'm not sure what this is about. He needs to wall the whole map if, all the way to the left side if he wants that to be efficient. Chat off. Twinky Winky coming in with a sub as well, thank you so much for using your Twitch Prime sub on this channel, Twinky Winky, welcome. Uh, this tower does nothing. I guess it's just to secure the wood for the long run. He does see that uh, Bacti is coming here, so nice reactions. This he will deal with fine. The issue for him is again going to be map control in the center with the wood lines. Oh, the pathing of the bills. They ran into this oasis, so that actually hurts him quite a bit. By the way, let me know if, if the game sounds are too loud. Uh, he's just going for bills. Uh, I like this decision. He's pretty safe at his own base. He can just place more towers if he needs to. Because he has uh, 500 stone actually at this as we speak. But he's just pretty... I guess he's gonna cast drop somewhere. Because he's saving up the food to go cast leech now. And... I mean, we'll, we'll see what he follows it up with. I guess he'll keep going crossbows. But whether he will cast drop or just keep doing towers is the question. If you can get a castle here, that would be amazing. I don't think he... Yeah, he can actually place it, right? Yeah, I think he can place it. Uh, Findlick, thank you so much for two months. Appreciate it, sir. Thanks for sticking on board. 
Uh, Yo is up as well now, but Bacti is doing archer armor now, so I guess he's not making a switch into eagles, which he could have done because uh, Yo is so heavily into skirmishers. Uh, Yo is making transition into archers as well, though. So we'll see. What map is this? This map is called Atacama. <laughs> but I guess Yo, if he killed the boar with his town center. Oh, look at this upgrade horse color. It's pretty late. If he killed a boar with his town center, that must have, must have hurt a lot. Apparently, like, there, he's trying to wall off the whole left side here. Bacti is still playing fairly open, but he has towers everywhere, so... He's safe where he needs to be, you can say. I like this, um, like, Bacti, the way he's play placing his outposts. Just spreading them out so he has vision everywhere. So he will never be caught off guard. Should have maybe made one or two on the left side as well. Besides that, I really like how Bacti is playing this so far. Sugar free! Hey. Hey. Thanks for streaming. You're Hope welcome. you have a good day. I do, definitely. Sugar Free, thank you so much for the seven months. Hope you have a good day as well, sir. Norville going down for Mr. Yo. And back to is just. I feel like it's just pulling. Actually, village accounts are still similar. But the position of the map, position of the game, is very much in favor of uh, back to at the moment. I'll have to see what units they commit to. Yo did make a second archery range, so he's gonna commit to the archery line still. But this is very good for Bacti. Once those are upgraded, he can really harass this gold. Siege workshop. So Bacti is not going for the castle. He's going for town centers instead. Doing a one town center at this wood. Very nice location. And a siege workshop to apply more pressure on the towers. But where's the rest of his stone then? He must have made more towers. Because he had like 500 stone. Unless he sold some. Which I don't think he did. I'm not sure where he invested his stone then. Actually, I'm, I have no clue where his stone went. He must have sold, but it doesn't have a market. Where did his stone go? Or was it Yo who had a lot of stone? Oh, maybe it was Yo who had all the stone. I probably looked at the wrong guy. Okay, so let's see if Yo wants to go for a castle. Like, he could do a full aggression move on the middle and try to get the castle here. Because he's already... Uh, oh, nice harass from back to here. He's pulling his attention there, and at the same time harassing the wood line. And he's getting some kills here. So nice play from back T for sure. He's uh, six villagers ahead now, and that's just gonna keep growing, I think. Yeah, Yo is doing uh, returning the favor on this top side, and um, and yeah, doing so getting some payback here. He needs this because else it's just gonna fall far behind. He can actually go and sit under this tower now and deny back T from all this gold. But then again, the Manganel is coming, so that would have been very risky. Yeah, I'm curious to see how Yo is going to invest his stone. It seems like he's building up for a castle since he's not adding... <laughs> it seems like he's not building up for a castle because he's adding a town center. But he can build up for a castle as well. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'm not sure where exactly we'll put a castle. Like, this would be a nice location just to, like, have uh, control over this whole center. But uh, I'm not sure if he would be able to pull that off. Oh my god, George Facey is back. George Facey. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. If Yo micros well, he can kill all these villas. If he targets one village each with the crossbows to make them not be... Oh, you... Bacti is falling back. That's surprising to me. He should have just tried to finish it. Yeah, Mangonel incoming, so he should be fine. They're both harassing each other and just trying to defend with Mangonels. This will be pretty much decided when it comes to micro. Bacti is microing very well here. Very nice splits so far. Nice timing. And the last one, yeah. Per perfect micro from back to here. Yeah, they're, they're, their multitasking is really being tested here. Because uh, there's action going on on all fronts. Different areas of the map. It was my first sub to the channel. Eisenhof. You're talking to a sub to this channel. Yeah, so village accounts. I mean, this is six villages is not a lot for Aztecs. And Aztecs is more about... Uh, gold income for the long term. Yo is adding another, a third town center. Bacti already has three. One, two, three. Um, yeah, we'll see how. I think the game is still very close, but I think Bacti has a much better position on the map. He lost two more crossbows to the Magnal there. Still being chased up here. And not sure why Bacti is not fighting here. Crossbows beat Skirms, unupgraded Skirms. Uh, Yo is mixing in an Eagle Warrior. I guess that's to take Mangonels, but I don't see why he's using it here, though. 
Uh, you back to should have micro. If you micro, then you kill Skirms easily, but he's not being putting effort to micro there. But he's still in the commanding position here. All hail King George Pacey. Uh, Viper, how much for a personal AOC lesson? Uh, I wouldn't do personal AOCs. I, I've promised one or two guys, actually two, actually three guys, I've promised that I would do lessons. But the problem is it's it's so time demanding to uh, do individual lessons. I still want to be able to do those to those guys I promised, but I can't do it with more people because it's just too, too time demanding. And... Um, Time is not something I have a shit ton of when it comes to Age of Empires, unfortunately. Nice harass from uh, back to here again. Yo, I mean. Now the Mangano is incoming. Oh, from double sides. Oh, and yeah. Bada boom. GG. Back to might be nice there as well. I feel like, yeah, back to is just full, pulling ahead all over the map. There's more military, more uh, villagers. More idols as well, though. That's not good. Oh, there's the castle drop. Do I like this? Yeah, I do like this. I do like this. Bacti will only have this safe and this safe wood now. Uh, so I do like this castle. But the problem is this he can't take this wood himself, just even though he has this castle, because Bacti can just drop a tower here or here. And that wood is still untakeable for either side. But all the units have been cleaned up besides this crossbow in their bases now. So now it's all about this location here and how they progress from here. Dead villager. If Bacti doesn't pay attention, he might lose a couple of villas there, though. If they keep... Yeah, okay, he's re garrisoning now. Yeah, this farm should should delete, so villagers don't accidentally go there. And so on. Where's the follow button? Am I subscribed? Everyone has a price. I guess that's true, but, but still. 500 dollars for an hour lesson. I believed you, I would take you up on that offer. But the problem, okay, another problem with Age of Empires, just to put it out there. Age of Empires is a game that takes so long to become good at, that even if you were, like, it, it doesn't help to have one or two or three hour lessons, and then expect to suddenly be 300 ELO higher on skill. Age of Empires is such a, there's so much depth in this game, and so many things to learn and know, so many civilizations to learn and... So many situations to learn how to react to, and all of this, all these different maps, all these map generations, and all this stuff, it's, it's a really hard map game to learn and become good at. So, it's like, I feel like even doing one lesson or two or three lessons, that alone would not improve a player significantly. Of course it would help, but, you know, it would be, it requires a lot more. Before, before you can uh, really hit a, a big skill. Okay, so both of them are looking for Imperial Age. Yo is gonna hit before because he has more gold, I think. Fact is, they're both very close to get to Imperial Age as well. We'll see how. Uh... I mean, also the question would be, what unit choices do they go for in Imperial? I reckon. Oh, Yo is doing both sorrow just now. It feels bad, man. He should stop. What? He's doing. What upgrade is he doing now? Bosa and queue of villagers instead of, instead of going imp. I don't understand that. If he didn't queue of vills, he could click Imperial Age right now. Oh no. Everyone, please, grasp peace in the chat for Mr. Kessely. Oh boy. Huge fan. I used to play O on MSN Gaming Zone back in the day. Found you and this community a few months ago and I'm so impressed. You're the best I've seen in logic and resource allocation, plus a great on-air personality. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, Caselli, uh, thank you so much for... <laughs> a massive $100 donation. <laughs> Uh, and also for the kind words. Uh, so you used to play on AoEs on the zone. Uh, uh, did you used to be good? Like, what were your skill level back on the zone? I'm curious. I'm, I'm always curious about people returning from having played at zone. Like, how good were they back in the day? What? Uh, how did you f come over my channel again and this community again? How did you return? What? Like the story behind that. But I mean, thank you so much for the $100 donation and also for the kind words. Uh, 
I really enjoy when I hear, like, it's like constructive feedback, kind of. Uh, well, okay, I don't know if that's the right word, but thank you so much again, Kesele. If you would, would love to hear some more uh, insight on the history of yours and how you came back into the scene. But yeah, the problem with these nations, I get speechless and then I lose track of everything that's going on in the game. Uh, cat song name. Uh, it's like... I actually don't know what the song of the name is. I've labeled it uh, Shrek song cat Us in boots. No way, you finally fixed the duration of the grave. Yes, I did fix that as well. I did fix that. Yeah, both of them are on the way to Imperial. Uh, both, he's going Eagles. I suppose Bacti will go Eagles as well. I'm not sure though. Yeah, Bacti is going Eagles as well. I'm surprised with Yo's two castles up, and he could easily have gotten a third as well if he commit more to stone. He could have done done a third castle and gone Jaguars. But the problem with those again are that their mobility is not nearly as good as um, the Eagles. Is it more difficult to master AOE than StarCraft 2? I think StarCraft 2 requires an extreme level of mechanics to be the best, while Age of Empires requires more thought and knowledge to be the best. I also think StarCraft is less forgiving when it comes to mistakes. In Age of Empires you can make a few more mistakes and still get away with it compared to StarCraft. That's also because there's so many things, more things in Age of Empires to them. The maps are bigger, the map generation is different, it's random. And there are so many more sieves and more ages and all of that, so... Oh! <laughs> oh boy. Well, that was pretty. Need restore my AOC bug screen and lag. Okay, so we have to restore this game. At least, <laughs> at least we got to watch this before, <laughs> before we went back. Oh boy. That was a pretty shot. Yeah, let's see that. So both are similar villagers, both are going eagles. I think this game is still up in the air for either player. Really hard to... Uh, I mean, we'll see how it goes. So I still think Bacti has a better position when it comes to map, on the map, the map control and all of that. Map presence, but... And also economy seems to be way better for Bacti. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, but yeah, looking great for you. Again, Caselli, thank you so much again for your huge donation. Really thankful. Again, we'd love to hear more about your history and how you came back into the scene, how you came into, uh, came over my channel and this community again. Isn't there more money in StarCraft 2? Why you decide to be pro in AOC? Uh, AOC appealed much more to me. I didn't decide to be pro in AOC. I just uh, loved playing the game and as I played more I became better and suddenly we uh, ended up here. <clears throat> I'm really excited though for what the future holds for Age of Empires as well. With uh, Age of Empires 4 coming up, we have AO2, AOE 2.1, no AOE 2.1, what am I saying? AOE 1 Definitive Edition and also AOE 2 Definitive Edition. So there's a lot of things to be excited for in the Age of Empires community right now. So I'm going to turn off the um, light grid to make it look prettier. And also I reckon we'll... Actually I'm not sure about these effects yet. Water animation. Custom terrains. I, I wish someone would have, it would be like an explanation for all these uh, different options here. Like all this, I wish there was like something somewhere where it described what each of these actually do to the point. Did you look into how T90 fills his sub games? I did not look into it, but I kind of understood it from where, from the explanation last night. So he adds everyone on Steam and then invites them to the game pretty much. Pick scoreboard. Oh, that's right. I can do that. So wait, let me so do that. That uh, scoreboard. Oh no, where is it? Yeah, I'll have have to add the numbers later again. But okay, let's go back into the game. See, yeah, we are exactly where we left off. Uh, both of them are going eagles. Uh, similar upgrades as well, actually exactly the same upgrades. He was dropping a TC here to make sure this gold is safe. In the Eagle Warrior battles, the main thing you need is gold. If, you, if your gold production, gold mining gets damaged, 
Like you can see, Bacti is taking gold all over the place now. So he's not in a good spot. If you manage to idle your enemy's gold income, then you are in a great spot. Because gold is everything you need to produce eagles since they are so cheap. Both of them again, Yo is gonna catch up with upgrades. Doing squires, which is really important for eagle battles. But Yo did take a much better fight here, so... Um, Bacti needs to be careful with how he, uh, how he spends his eagles here. Nice castle here though, to have secured his gold. We'll see how they uh, adapt on the right side as well. I would like to see some barracks on the right side as well to uh, do some extra raiding. You can see Bacti is focusing on the gold. He knows, okay, I just need to idle Yo's gold and then I will pull ahead in production. And that's what he's uh, aiming for. But yeah, by doing this, he also takes bad fights. So he allows Yo to catch up in military counts. So it's like a, uh, it's a judgment you have to make on whether Oh, Yo is trying to go for this goal and Bacti is castle dropping it at the same time. But Bacti is trying to secure golds, which is what he needs to do. I like the way Bacti is approaching this. Pulling ahead in upgrades as well, doing iron casting, while Yo does not even have fortune. And you can see the population as well. Bacti is now 20 pop, pop ahead, and he's gonna be pull, pulling more and more ahead, I feel like. Very nice castle again for Bacti here. He's chasing these as well, so he's fine here, and he's the one applying pressure. Being the one defending with eagles is always really hard as well, because you are the one who's gonna have idle time, and you are the one who will always have to react. And it seems like Yo is getting overrun here. Bacti is just continuously spamming eagles in here. And Yo does not have an answer. I'm curious whether Yo would have been better off going with Jaguar Warriors when you're the defender, pl defending player. Because... I mean, the only issue would be the mobility, but once you build up an army, if you're fighting eagles, if you have 40 Jaguar, Jaguar Warriors, Eagles can never engage. So Bacti would have to make a transition into something as well. But it's always hard to play from behind in an Aztec War. Now dropping your castle here. But you can see the numbers. Numbers are dwindling for, for Mr. Yo here. Bacti is just pushing even further in. Killing out all the units. He has ahead on one upgrade as well. And he's also continuously raiding this economy here. Securing this gold as well. And I feel like Bacti has won this game. And there's the GG. Well done. So now let me uh, put the scores up. Let me just see which score is Yo and which score is it's, uh, Bacti. Bacti is that score and that score should be Yo. So there we go. 1-0 for Bacti. Well done, Bacti. He did made, the, made the right decisions as he hit Imperial Age with the Eagle Warriors. I just finished watching the latest YouTube video, Amazing Game Viper. Thank you, the Sartex. It was a good game indeed. Very long game. Yeah, Bacti was just way better economy. I guess the maybe probably it snowballed from uh, from Yo killing the boar with his town center. I'm gonna guess that that's it. Kind of snowballed from there. Let me just put up the scores here as well. There we go. Just make sure. Okay, it's looking good now. We have the scoreboard up. <clears throat> uh, Yo had 